Hey guys, it's Amber and I am excited to share with you my completed Project Life album for 2020. So I don't do weekly Project Life. I don't even really do monthly Project Life. I do what I call event scrapbooking, um, which is my own term, but we only see the kids like, you know, when they come visit, it's not like scheduled visits. And most of the time our lives are really repetitive and boring. And there can be a lot of really amazing scrapbooking done on everyday life and details. But if I did that, I would only film my cats. <laughs> um, you know, work is not especially interesting for either of us. Um, so basically, I just scrapbook when I have photos to document. I do try to kind of keep it in a monthly format simply because I do use the Stories by the Month kit from Allie. Once I find something that I want to use for that like month, like January, February, like when I want to document and share, showcase what month it is, I try to find the same product and use it throughout the year. So like last year I used Ellie Studios cards. This year I used Allie's Stories by the Month cards. So I have my intro page here. Uh, this was a Kelly Perky. This was a Kelly Perky. These two were Studio Calico. This was Ellie Studio and that was an Alley card. But I love this because it was a fun photo of the two of us, photo of the kitties, one of the five of us that was a Christmas photo, this like um, computer created drawing and just had fun playing with the bright colors. And then I also wanted to include what ages we were here. So. In January, we took the kids to brunch at Fogo de Chao, which is like a Brazilian steakhouse. And then another weekend, we had only one of the kids. So we took him out to um, a hot pot dinner. So that was just us documenting some of that. So here I have my January memories card from Allie, which is what made me go with green for the rest of the layout. It also happens to be that there's green in here, so it worked out perfectly. Um, I used a pleather sticker from the Eat Kit, and I'm pretty sure this is from the Eat Kit as well. And then this card here is from In a Creative Bubble. And then here I have some just generic photos around the house from a weekend when they were visiting. Um, this was from the tech story kit because it says what screen time looks like around here because I'm showcasing the kids on their phones listening to their headphones and it was just a good opportunity to use that color scheme so for February here I have a February stories card that might have been from a different kit from Allie um, doing some Valentine's Day stories some shots of the kids opening their little bags this was a Kelly Perky card where I stamped the word magic on there um, some cupcakes, donuts that we had over the weekend, using just chipboard, really simple, and uh, showcasing like gifts, necklaces, roses that Derek got for the girls and I. So just a fun weekend with the kids celebrating Valentine's Day. This is becoming one of my favorite page protectors to use because I've gotten more into using three by four pictures as verticals because I'm taking more vertical photos with my phone and it allows me to put a bunch of photos into one layout. So here we have, it's actually a continuation of the Valentine's Day. Um, I was trying to showcase that Juliana had broken her wrist that year, which is definitely uncommon. Um, so a little bit of story about that. This was another February card and I stamped the date on there using some more chipboard and keeping it really, really simple. Most of this album is very, very simple like this. So here we had gone to play bingo in February. So I found this awesome bingo paper. Um, now I can't remember who made it, but it was fun in the three before size. Use some Ellie Studios cards that matched really well and some Ellie's Studio puppy stickers and just showcase a lot of fun that we had. And this was actually a plastic piece from Ellie's play kit, if I remember correctly. So I stapled that into that blank space. Just love how bright and fun it is. And this also, I should mention, this is one of my other favorite page protectors. This is the Design G by Becky Higgins, but it allows you to put in four by six verticals and four by six horizontals and throw in a couple, you know, fun cards as well or photos. Um, so I use this one a lot as well. 
So then on the back of that, this was right at the beginning of COVID. We definitely were not seeing the kids for a while. So I was trying to um, showcase, you know, we were at home doing some walking, spending some time with the cats. Here I was doing like a mask tutorial, which is actually on my YouTube page. Um, here's the March Memories card from Allie. I have like a rubber rainbow on there on the outside, which is really fun. Playing with some layering. And then here was another uh, set of cards from Allie. I believe this was from the tech kit. This was from her transitions and it's talking exactly about that. Um, so just how different life was right around then. You know, I was working half shifts, which was unheard of at my job, uh, taking naps on the daily. Like it was very stressful. We didn't know what to expect or what was going on. And taking the opportunity just to simply just tell that simple story, showcase some kitty photos. And I also used some chipboard, like March Madness was for football or sorry, <laughs> basketball, but it also went really well with the fact that it was March and things were crazy. Used some tough times and then a much needed timeout. So using the opportunity to sh use some products that I haven't had to the opportunity to use before. And this is a continuation of that. Um, with an around here card. These are from the rest kit. And we actually had like almost a two month period where we didn't see the kids just from fear of COVID and we didn't want to infect them in case we got sick. Nothing ever happened, but it's a, it was a shame. So this was our first weekend back together after a while. So this is this April stories card from Allie. This is from Studio Calico and Ellie's studio, I believe. And then I have this Easter fun chip board showing us playing some cards. And then actually celebrating Easter. I believe we had a delayed Easter with the kids. Um, but really bright, fun cards here. I, I can't, I gotta start writing these down, but I don't, I'm not sure who made these cards. They were really fun. Um, but I was able to play off Allie's April Memories card using some wood pieces and stickers from Allie and these acrylic eggs from Ellie's studio. But just um, found some really fun embellishments for this one, like this Hello Spring. I've got this Hide and Seek, which I believe was from the Lost and Found kit. I'm using some of these wood pieces, and then these little bunnies, and just really having fun. They got new baskets this year, a little bit more mature ones for uh, when the Easter Bunny comes to visit. And so here I have, I wanted to do some pages about the kids. Easton never wanted to fill his page out, which is fine. I didn't force him, but the girls both did. Um, and so I just used that as a spot to just include the photos using some older pictures of them from, I believe, 2019 around their birthday. <clears throat> but just a great way to get their handwriting in, ask some funny stories, or not funny, ask some questions, got some funny answers, like they're twins. So I said, how are you similar to your sister? And this one said, we both have glasses. We have some of the same friends. And this one said, we both have glasses and some of the same friends. And I swear they did not copy each other. They just wrote the same thing. Um, so it was just kind of fun. Um, and I just used an opportunity to use up some of my stash. So these giant chipboard letters, use some plastic pieces from Studio Calico, some chipboards, some felt hearts. I've got the wooden people, some more chipboards, little glasses. And then this was from Allie's Up and Downs kit, I believe, but the colors just work. So it was a perfect opportunity to use it. They're a little more evenly spaced than I wanted, but just really fun. And I did the same thing over here with Caitlin. Same treatment. I put another girl chip, uh, wooden piece, another felt heart, another puppy sticker, another rainbow, and just kind of had fun playing with the products. So I really love that they came out. I might make Easton do his this year. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> so here we were in May. Uh, it was kind of a struggle for some layouts this year. You know, I had a picture of the yard after I mowed, um, a new sunset hibiscus flower that I had. My uh, lilies were getting ready to bloom. Um, but not much else was going on. So I used the May Memories card and then tried to find other pieces to match it. And here we were again. We had a long stretch without the kids again in May. Um, and I was doing a lot of working out at that point. So it was a great opportunity to use this um, self-care card, match it with this card from Studio Calico. Um, this May was blank card. So I filled in some words, added some journaling onto my photos and then just some simple chipboard and rainbow pieces. In May, we saw the kiddos. And we did a fire outside and did some s'mores, so that was really fun. 
And that was actually the first time we used our new fire pit. And I think we actually only had to send that weekend again. Yep. And then not many photos, like the entire month. All I had was this, you know, workout photos in this one day. Not much else was going on. So here for June, kind of the same thing. Found this robin's egg on the ground. Thought that was fun and did take it a picture. Pictures of the kittens, of course. And then we tried going out to eat for, for dinner one night when things started opening back up. And then here, um, some more pictures of some flowers I had planted, the kids being around. Um, one of my lilies, that's what this was. Um, and just uh, trying to use a product. So these were from a Stories by the Month kit. This was from the Home Kit, I assume. And then a Home Sweet Home chipboard. More photos from June here. Um, this is actually really old basic gray paper. This is a really old add-on from the fabric kit from Allie. This is like a Kelly Perky card, just trying to use up some sash to help fill in the gaps there. So that was when we were hanging out for Father's Day. So I included this nice, um, I believe it's a full eight and a half by 11, should be. And then added some chipboard hearts here, just for some interest. And then this funny card that the kids drew for their dad. And then this is actually um, a continuation of this layout, these two coordinate, but I also had the insert inside. So the colors kind of extend. I was trying not to put like dad, 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 but I was also trying to use up the stash. So messy table from ordering what looks like Chinese food or sushi or something. And then just added a little hexagon die cut and some chipboard. In July, I went to visit my mom in Florida and um, so use this July memories card. And I believe what's interesting is this was actually from the August kit. And so the August card was this color, but it came with this, which is teal. And July came with these, but the, but I couldn't coordinate them. So I just was like, don't have to use them together. I can move them around. So I did, and I was much happier with my ability to use the product up. So that's the benefit of being a little delayed on your scrapbooking is that you can pick whatever products you want. So I used these fun wooden sunshines, added some of the circle stickers on top and underneath. And that was all my embellishments, just showing, you know, because we were in the Florida sunshine. And then some pictures with the kids hanging around. This is pretty much what our weekends look like. We are snugglers. We always have blankets and cats in our lap. One of the kids helping me make dinner. And then in August, we took a family trip to Tennessee. And this was during my birthday. So the Tennessee trip will probably not get put in this album. If I had more room, I probably would have, but I think because it was our only trip that we took last year and I love vacation albums, I think I'm going to do a six by eight um, by itself. So here I used a wooden camera that was from the One Little Word Kit add-ons, I believe, last year. And just some pictures of me with the kiddos, adding this currently card that was from one of the kits, uh, Stories by the Month. And here what happened is I actually made a mistake somehow. I don't remember what it was, but I ended up cutting the flowers out and layering them with pop dots to make it look intentional, but I think I had tried to stamp on that card and something came out wrong or my journaling came out wrong. Not 100%. So here we are in September. Um, proud of how this one came out because this was a hard color for me to use, but I found this old card in my stash from Allie, this old chipboard, and was able to tie in some blues and greens just by digging through my stash. So I organize my cards by color. So in doing so, I can flip through anything that's in this color family and find something that works. So just using chipboard, wooden heart, plastic heart with a staple. And I actually love this too. I found this camera, which was the same color and just layered it right on top there. So more September stories. We had Easton's birthday when he turned 14. So these are all Ellie's Studios cards, and then this is some pattern paper and cards from a different company. And then just pictures of him unwrapping, blowing out his candles, and then this was just a chipboard piece that I layered some thickers on for his age. So moving into October, these are all Ellie's cards, and then this is a Studio Calico card. Just trying to use um, more stash again. Um, I've got chipboard, banners, and letter stickers, or word phrase stickers up here and here to help like kind of 
bookend the layout orange on black black on orange we got donuts from our favorite place again and here we were outside and we uh, spent some more time at the fire pit and I had fun playing with this one. These are all on the outside of the page protector. So just a fun texture because we've got wood, chipboard, felt stitched leaves, like a little rubber heart out here. And I found this card in my stash. I believe this was an Ellie Studio. I stamped these three sentiments on there. I used this loving card from Allie. This was from an old fall 2016 release that I had and I finally was able to use that. I've been wanting to use it forever. Then this is actually a six by 12 insert here. We were making yarn banner for the curtain area. So the kids were helping me do that. One of the kitties was having fun playing with yarn. And then just uh, filling in with some cards there. So here we got to October with the girl's birthday. So I took the t took my brightly colored cards from this same company and then added this Ally Celebrate card. And then this year they wanted different things. One wanted an apple pie, one wanted a cake. So I put their initials on there with their age on this one. And this is that same four by six with all the three by four um, pockets from Becky Higgins. That's the design F. So like I said, it really allows you to put a lot of photos in. And then just more pictures of them opening their presents, getting new earrings and jewelry, lotions and candles are definitely getting to that preteen stage. So it's been fun. And then here we are in, I believe, so this is fall, but yeah, so we're still in October. Kind of played with the same colors here because I knew these pages would be together. Planted some dahlias that finally bloomed. Used this older card from my stash for three different memories that I expanded on. Another felt heart. This one's on the outside. Um, kiddos helping me make dinner. Here we were in October. I had gotten some new pumpkins on our coffee table, so the kitty was checking them out. New wreath. Um, and I got him these little mice that looked like candy corn, so I played up the candy corn colors. This was a card from Allie, and um, I used it as an opportunity to tell a bunch of little stories. Added some chipboard, little uh, die cut that I popped up. And then this was actually Halloween because of COVID. It was a little bit different than normal this year, so we pre-packed candy. And then we put them in little bags on this table. We had the truck decorated with corn um, cobwebs and a picture of Jarrett helping me stuff the candy this year. So that was our little setup. I either need to journal in here or find a different card, but I think I just left it because I didn't have anything else to really say. It was pretty obvious what was going on, but I'll probably try to fill that out. And I also had this insert here inspired by Allie's October layouts where she had created this digital piece for us. And so I added my journaling, which is why I think I forgot to write anything on here. Use this awesome cobweb transparency to mount it and then found some pattern paper to match it on the other side. And then I took this Ellie's studio card and just kind of cut it into like a weird ovally shape so I wasn't putting a square or rectangular edged piece on there. Just added some little puffy stickers to go with it. So love how that came out. And then more Halloween because kitty pictures come on how cute is she in her little witch hat which kept falling off um, I had my matching ears on so I played up the purple had fun using up some of my Halloween embellishments and I used lots of little puffy stickers on this one and I think this one was a oh yeah so there was actually supposed to be five because it says for the love of costumes and I just talked about the two cats, me, and what Jared dressed up because we didn't see the kids for Halloween this year. And I just added the die cut to help cover up the fifth one. Added some puffy stickers and word phrase stickers. And then on the back, playing up the fact that Cypher was a little dragon. So cute. Uh, sorry, I know there's some glare there, but I found this awesome card in my stash that had the little dragon kid on there. And then this one about being monsters. So had a lot of fun with that one. And then here, I used the Cozy Story Kit to tell some kitten cozy stories, which you probably recognize these from all throughout my album, but I still wanted to use them up. They were really fun colors. Used up some plastic pieces, some felt cat pieces, some more die cuts from that Halloween bundle, and a chipboard. And this was a three by four card with three of these little blobbies on it in different colors that I cut out and used as journaling spots. 
So love how that one came out. I think this was almost all Cozy Kit products. And here we are in November. So really bright colored November that I had to try to match up. Had some blues in here and the sunset. So I used this from the Stories by the Month kit. Stories by the Month kit. These were both, oh, that's Kelly Perky, I believe. Studio Calico, and then a really, really old card that I don't know who created. Uh, just really random photos. There's a sunset, there's our pumpkins on the porch, there's actually a squirrel there who'd been eating all my pumpkins. Um, one of the kids, and then talked about making crab stuffed mushrooms for dinner, just everyday life stuff. Here is an actual specific Thanksgiving story. So once again, I have an insert here, and these two are supposed to match up together. And then I've got, so Jarrett making the turkey. Um, so I have some Studio Calico cards here that were this teal color and this on the menu, and I really wanted to use them. So I played my whole color scheme off of there. I have the two plaid papers from Ellie's studio with some heart chipboard pieces and die cuts from Ellie. This is a felt one, or not felt, uh, fabric. So then I, it was just the two of us for Thanksgiving again. So they were kissing their mom. Oops. So, um, I did that just between us card that I found in orange, some chipboard pieces and a pleather piece, more chipboard, picture of our dessert, there's a selfie I took outside, just because I thought I looked good that day, and then I just used some pattern paper that was fun, played up another puffy sticker with this green from um, Allie, and then these Ellie's Studio like, Vine puffy stickers, and then down here, I used this Ellie Studio like mirrored gold Thanksgiving acrylic with some stitched leaves from Allie on this awesome paper. I love how this came out. And then this is actually from December Daily Kit in 2019. And uh, it says give thanks, celebrate and remember. So it worked perfectly for my Thanksgiving because I never managed to use it for Christmas. And love how this whole layout came out. Just love playing up with different colors, using up the orange and the blue, and I just think it came out really pretty. And even the kittens were snoozing. They're both asleep there. More November stuff, but a different color scheme. So this is when we had our second Thanksgiving with the kids on the weekend. So my November Stories by the Month card, card and card that all matched. This was from the Kindness Kit, and I didn't really want the sentiment, so I took this old digital piece from Allie, blew it up, and put that on there. I was hoping to get a little closer in color, but I didn't feel like continually reprinting it. Some chipboard, because this has popped up on puffy stickers, and then a little label here. And then we're getting into December stuff. So I didn't go too crazy, because I made a huge December Daily album, but really love the way this came out. So this was some 6x8 paper from Allie with my Stories by the Month card, of course. And then I took this Ellie's Studio and then added a chipboard star on top of it. So this is all outside the page protector. And this is outside the page protector. And so are these, kind of crossing the lines. So I love how it came out. Used a ton of stickers here. And um, some wooden pieces, like for a trio to help draw your eye around. Tried to do lots of red, you know, triangles. Green is in a triangle. So I just really love the way this one balanced out. And then the back sticking with that same color scheme. This was from the 2020 uh, December Daily Kit. Actually, all three of these were. This is from an older kit here. And then this is from the Stories by the Month kit. So very, very simple embellishments. Just some heart, uh, star stickers and then this chipboard. That's it. A uh, 6 by 12 insert here, just blowing up these photos of the tree and the kids. And then here I have some around the house photos, just showing what the decorations looked like. So I actually had already had this set aside for my December Daily die cuts from my metal dies from Allie. And then I use this Holiday Vibes card. These are from Ellie's studio. This is from last year's Pink Paisley, or not Pink Paisley, yeah, Paisley Press. And then a wooden piece from Colorcast Designs. And then more around the house kind of stuff. So Juliana made a painting, we had Christmas themed donuts and cookies, my Christmas cactus. 
Um, I took a painting class. And then just more around the house photos of the kitties. I'm trying to use up anything that said December 2020 on it. Use this awesome stamp set from Tim Holtz with the cats. This one says naughty or nice. Let me think on that. And then one in the back says, have you learned nothing from last year's tree? And there's a picture of her with the tree because last year she kept climbing in it, but this year she didn't. Um, and just photos of the kitties. Jarrett's birthday, celebrating that. Oh, I still need to add some ribbon here, which I forgot about. Um, just took the color of his shirt to make my background in a digital photo here with um, a Heidi Swap stamp, digital stamp. And just telling a story about my Christmas wrapping. And the photo or sorry, uh, photos of the painting class that I took. This was also in my um, December Daily album, so I didn't go too crazy telling the story, but I did create a little flip up here just so I could add an extra four by four photo and my journaling. And then pictures of us with the kids on Christmas, just keeping it really simple. I have a see-through pocket here, which I thought was fun, using up some bright red cards in my stash, chipboard, stars, playing up the black and red of our wrapping paper. And then here, so this was a photo that I had printed out in a huge seven by 14, or sorry, eight and a quarter by 14 for my December daily and I never used it. And we're gonna be moving, so this is our last you know, winter in this house. So I wanted to take a picture of, or use up that picture that I had already printed. So I used some old basic gray background paper. These are Felicity Jane papers that I found that matched and added some wooden stars and snowflakes, I mean, from LA Studio and some studio crepe paper, rose gold stars. So really simple, really bold. And because I had this layout, I needed to create something to go on the other side of it. So I use that as an opportunity to do our Christmas day photo of the tree all blown up. So I picked like a weird size for the crop because I wanted to get as much as possible. Um, so I think it's like 10 by 12, I believe. So I just use a little bit of crepe paper, um, some Felicity Jane paper, and then some chipboard pieces just so I'd have something else there. And then our New Year's. It was just Jarrett and I again using up this awesome card from Studio Calico with the gold foil. Picture of the kitties with their little hats on. And then trying to use up some stash. So this was a Studio Calico card, um, Allie card. And then this was from Allie that I never used in the beginning of the album, so I wanted to use it at the end. And just trying to get it finished up and ready to move on to 2021. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my album. My style is very, very simple, bright colors, um, lots of photos. I really try to coordinate my cards and embellishments to match. And uh, I'm really looking forward to 2021 and moving into a new scrapbook room sometime in May, having a little bit more space to spread out. And uh, I gotta get remember to get better at taking pictures because I didn't take many for January. So it's gonna be a little bare. But uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.